So these are the cookies made with cicada flour, brownies made with cicada flour, chocolate covered cicadas, pumpkin bread, the cicada tacos. Dare to take a bite? The emergence of Brood X is inspiring one group of New Jersey students to do more than just research. Eating cicadas? This was actually a couple of years in the making. 2019, Matthew and Moulin came into my class and I had been through the 2004 emergence. And I said, if anyone's interested in insects, we should talk because this is gonna be the big emergence. They started the, the insect eating club on their own. Been doing a lot of cicada collections and a lot of cicada roastings and trying out different recipes. So these cicadas, they got two pairs of wings on them. They're not very easy to digest, they're not that good. So what you gotta do is you just get two full pairs of wings, take them, twist them off, and then do the exact same thing on the other side. And boom, this guy is ready to be boiled and cooked. And one of the things for our teacher, he brought his science class out to collect cicadas. So yeah. they collect them probably more. Yeah, thousands probably. We've been collecting them from locations where we know there haven't been any pesticides sprayed. You want to get them when they're freshly emerged. As soon as they come out of the soil, they're in a, an exoskeleton that they shed. So all of the soil from 17 years, they completely take that off. And then we deep freeze them, we, um, we fry them or cook them. And when they come out a million and a half per acre, there's just no shortage of them. This insect eating club has 15 dedicated student members with plenty of new folks looking to join in on the learning and tasting. How does it taste? Mm. It tastes oh. like dough. It just tastes like dough. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. It's actually fine. It tastes like really good chocolate. Wow. A little earthy, a little crunchy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. This is that's not bad. Bad. Yeah, can't even taste it, right? Brood X cicadas emerge every 17 years, so the next time we'll see this group will be in 2038. Feeding on tree sap, these critters are harmless to humans, but have an important role in nature. They're drinking tree sap from deep underground. They're bringing those nutrients back to the surface. Nitrogen, phosphorus, things that they've been pulling out of the tree roots, which would be lost underground if it weren't for them coming back to the surface. For those who may be curious or simply don't understand why eat cicadas or any bugs, here's some reasoning. This is kind of an entry into other species like crickets, mealworms. Insects and crustaceans are very close relatives. So someone who eats shrimp, someone who eats lobster, someone who eats uh, crab, really it's not that large of a shift. We've been calling the cicadas tree shrimp. Within the next 50 years, we have 22 billion more people on the planet, and we have to find a way of feeding everyone. Insect eating needs to be a part of that. There's no, there's no other way about it. Hello, friend. In Princeton, New Jersey, I'm Linda Gaudino, News 4, New York.